All right, hello and welcome to Driving Simulator. The game was recommended over in our Discord, so thank you very much for the suggestion. And uh, you can check out the game with the link down below in the description if you actually want to try it out. I'm not much of a car person, nor a driving game person, but I figured I'd give it a shot, we'll check it out. And I checked it out a little bit, and it's not much. So I went with a Ford Mustang. They give you three options in the very beginning. I went with this option purely for the body. It's, I, I love Mustangs. They got a nice body. I love muscle cars as well. So it was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. They also had a, I believe a VW Bug. I could be wrong. I'm not much of a car person, like I said. <laughs> but, uh... I don't think I can find it. They don't have much of a selection, but it's a pretty good selection for... Hey, there we go, Beetle. My bad. This was an option, and I forgot the third option. But, uh, yeah, they got they got all right options, I suppose. Uh, it's a little bit limited. It looks large, because a few cars are spaced out in different locations. Oh, yeah, you can see it right here. <laughs> This car is literally right there and right there. So, of course, they're gonna be placed to kind of look like there's a large array of cars, but like it's it's pretty small actually. I mean, they got some good ones, but like I don't know, it doesn't feel like a large amount is here. The coloration does help make it look that way, I suppose. But anyways, I only got that car because getting money is a little bit of a pain. But uh, let's go over the garage since we're here. Customization, I feel, is like a major part with car games. And this one is all appearance based so far. The game is currently in beta, I suppose, depending if they, you know, flaked out on the game or not. But uh, right now it's all appearance based, so we can like mess around with the colors. Oh boy, I love those rims. <laughs> we can mess around with the body. That's for the very back of this one. We can make it, hey, that color is not that bad. The selection is honestly really small and then get all colors is a game pass. So that's kind of bruh. But it's all right for like the in game costs apply. Other than that, that's literally it for customization. All of the cars have their own little stats, their own little price tag. But other than that, there's literally nothing to do in the garage other than maybe select your car or something. But it's, it's really, really empty of a shell, I suppose you could say. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's spawn in our car. So... Everyone just kind of huddles here, because the race is here. And uh, the map is actually pretty well sized. There's a map if you're curious. There's no real collision, and there's no real sound design in the game. It's just going to sound like you're... I don't know, there's no... There's that, if that counts for sound design. But like, when I think of a muscle car, I think of like a hard engine, you know? Like a really loud, you know, muscly engine. This car, it sounds like I'm using a vacuum that's like really tone deaf. Like, or toned down rather. Like, it's very soft. I don't know if other cars sound exactly like this, since I only have this one. The price tags for other cars do... Uh, they're a little bit pricey. Do get up there in price, definitely, with the more, you know, uh, exotic cars. The world is pretty well built. Like, it's really good. But, uh, this, this is literally the whole game. For game mechanics, the whole game is literally drive. Some of you would probably be saying, but, bruh, it's a driving game. Of course it's gonna be drive. Yeah, but, like, the full mechanics is drive not the core mechanics the full game mechanics like you're limited on the customization currently you're limited to you know the amount of cars 
the selection. It looks a bit buffed up because cars are placed everywhere. Money is pretty short. Cars practically look all the same. Not in body, but like coloration due to the appearance and all that. Options. But like, I don't know, it's, it's an empty shell of a game currently. There's not much to do. I don't <laughs> really play driving games that much. I used to be in them because I used to play one that had a huge amount of customization. Like you can choose different engines, you can choose brakes, tires, all that. And it was a fun experience, but this one, it's like, and I'm just going to go cruise around the map kind of scenario. There's no crashing physics. There's no little details. It's it's pretty pretty basic, I would say. But then again, I got to give the benefit of the doubt. It's still in a working kind of environment or stage. It's it's in beta, I believe. But I think the main aspect of this game is just driving cars with really nice terrain. It's probably one of the best map builds I have seen. The scenery is pretty amazing at some areas, and I do appreciate it. Uh, other than that, it's, it's really just empty. You do get rewarded if you find locations like this. I already found this area, so I knew it was around here somewhere. But uh, other than that, I suppose maybe it's a good game for low performance uh, computers. Because, like, you gotta admit, it's a nice scenery. I wouldn't imagine that this game requires a high performance PC. Due to how minimalistic the customization is and the world build design is, even though it looks really, really good. I, I would highly doubt that you would need a high performance PC. We can actually look at... Uh, I mean, it looks pretty alright. The car itself looks good, the trees look good, but the environment kind of takes shape to like an oof. It's alright. It's pretty good. I, I expected a little bit worse with the specs. But uh, this is actually not that bad. This is pretty good with low spec. Go about halfway. It's nighttime, so we're getting a different kind of scenery. The map does open up a little bit more with medium spec. But there's no real, like, physics right there. You can't honk as far as I know. I've already tried. <laughs> uh, the lights? Nothing. Alright guys, I am back. I waited until sunrise to kind of give an idea of what daytime would look with medium graphics. It looks pretty nice. Once again, it, the world design and all of its, you know, detailing looks really good. But uh, yeah, low performance PC, this game might be good. Like, really good. <laughs> Usually games, when you lower the the graphics quite a lot the car would just like oof completely change but like the body stays intact the, you know the whole look of it stays pretty well intact and it's it's good other than that just the world itself changes up but yeah uh other than that i don't believe there's anything else there's a whole bunch of races over around the map like you can go race your car with other people but other than that, it's it's literally just this. There's no, there's no, you know, there's no skins. There's no other vehicles. There's no different motors, engines, whatever, brakes. It's it's pretty empty right now currently. Would I recommend the game? Yeah, I'd recommend it. The reasoning that I'm recommending it is I think it would be good for low performance. I can't initially fully say that it 100% will work with very very low performance PCs but for what it is it looks pretty good with low graphics so there might be a chance because I know a ton of games have very very serious specs with graphics and design and uh, it kind of sucks not being able to witness all of it 
So this game might be right there for people who are unable to, you know, fully use the graphical side. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. If you're more of a car person and you love, love customization, like full on everything, like down to the horn sound, then uh, you might not like the game. Because at the end of the day, you're just driving around a map and it gets pretty dull. It gets pretty boring. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Check out the game. I recommend it. It's pretty good. But uh, I do gotta say, it is it is empty. It's it's an empty shell that needs a little bit more, I suppose. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, I believe. Like I'm trying to think of other things, but I literally cannot. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed. Go check out the game, and thank you, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for any subs. Hey, area discovered. There we go. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be discovering any other areas, because the map is somewhat small, but it is detailed. So I gotta admit, it's it's pretty good. Oh hey. I didn't expect that. Alright guys, thank you very much and I will see ya.